Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. I will be reviewing all of the products in this month's box as well as using all of them for this makeup tutorial. So if you guys are interested in what I used to get this look, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and I have a bunch of hauls and DIYs, home decor, makeup tutorials, all of that coming your way. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. And now that that's been said, let's just jump right into the box. Alrighty, so the theme for this month is, well, it's a spa, glamping, sunbathe, yoga, and slumber. But it is hashtag boxy glamping, so I guess it's glamping is the overall theme. So that's pretty cool. First up, we have this Morphe brush collection. It's four pieces and it's called I Got This. I love when we get brushes because I can never have enough brushes. I'm always, always running out of brushes. These are all eye brushes. You have a fluffy brush, you have a more detailed fluffy brush, an angled brush, and um, one of those flat brushes to really pack on the eyeshadow. And I did end up using all four of these. These were actually really great, but the white one did actually shed on me already. I'm not sure how well this brush will hold up and how long it will last me because it's already started shedding, but it did apply the eyeshadow on perfectly. And I did actually enjoy all of these brushes. I think my favorite out of all four is this little detail uh, fluffy brush. And it is only 12 bucks for these four, so it's not so bad. But um, it is kind of weird that this is already shedding. Next, we have this eyeshadow palette by Violet Voss. It has a mirror and it comes with 10 shadows. And I actually ended up using all 10 shadows for this makeup look. I first used beige and clay for the crease. Then I packed on rose gold and mixed that with bronze and copper for the inner half of my eyes. And then I took Wild Orchid and Blue Violet, um, these two purple shades, and mixed them for the other half of my eyelid. And I used the two blue shades for my bottom lash line. And the chocolate brown I actually used to deepen up the outer corner for both top and bottom. And I really like the look that it gave. I did actually end up using an eyeshadow primer this time, but I did have a bit of fallout with some of the eyeshadows, especially the rose gold one. It is actually very, very flaky, I guess, is the best way to put it, especially when you try to pack it on. And the shadows are a bit powdery, but other than that, I really, really like the colors. And my favorite color, even though this was a little bit difficult to work with, was the rose gold. Um, I really, really like this duochrome color. I'm always a sucker for duochrome. Let me do a quick swatch for you guys. These are the shadows from the top row. This one is beige, clay, rose gold, bronze, and chocolate brown. And these are the colors from the bottom row. This one is wild orchid, blue violet, aqua, copper, and blue sky. Here I swatched rose gold to kind of show you what I was talking about. Um, as you can see, there are a little gaps i guess um, it does look a little flaky and it does have that same effect on the eyes i feel like this shade would look really pretty if it was just lightly dusted on the eyelids but um it, it is a little bit difficult to work with if you want to really pack it on and want one solid color there are I guess gaps <laughs> but overall i really did like this eyeshadow palette i like the colors um the formula wasn't the best so it was not the worst but not the best eyeshadow palette um but i do believe i will be using this eyeshadow palette because i really really like the shades in this palette this does retail for 36 dollars. i don't think it is worth 36 dollars personally i feel like ColourPop 
and even BH Cosmetics and the drugstore has so many better eyeshadows than this. So I wouldn't personally spend $36 on this palette, but I am still glad that they included this in this month's box because I do still like the colors. Next, we have this Big Fat Liner by Rockins Cosmetics. I've never heard of Rockins Cosmetics, but I actually did really like this marker eyeliner. It's nice and chubby, so it's easy to hold, and it has a really nice point, if you can tell. Really nice. So it was really easy to create that wing. There's a little swatch. I actually really liked this one and it was nice and dark as you can tell. It's not completely matte, but I still do really like it. And BoxyCharm has lately been allowing us to choose one item in the box. Um, they'll give us a few options and then we can choose what we like best. And so I chose the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And they did have several colors, but of course, by the time I got to picking this concealer, my shade was gone. So I went ahead and got the shade Chestnut because I wanted to try cream contouring. <laughs> cream contouring kind of scares me, but it looks so flawless when it's done correctly. This, however, did seem quite orange for me. For contouring, I typically prefer powder contours and I do prefer them to be more of an ashy tone, like a grayish cool tone color so that it kind of mimics the shadows in your the hollows of your cheeks and helps sculpt out the jawline and the cheeks and the nose, but uh, I don't hate it. It does look a lot more orange on camera though because when I was looking in the mirror it looks like absolutely perfect, but on camera it looks like very orange. So you can see right here, it's very orange here. But in person, I can't see that at all. So I don't know if it's just the camera picking up every little flaw, but I will continue to experiment with this because I do want to continue to get better at cream contouring. So I am excited about using this. This actually blended really well. I really, really like this formula. I will continue to experiment with this, but other than them not having my color available, I will continue to use this because I really do like the formula. And the final product in this month's box is by Clarence and it is their Velvet Lip Perfector. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I actually really, really like this. It feels so nice on the lips and this is like one of my perfect nudes. I just, I absolutely love this color. This really does feel like velvet on the lips. To give you a drugstore comparison, I would compare it to one of those Maybelline matte lipsticks. I think it's the Color Sensational Matte lipsticks. Those are very, very smooth on the lips and they kind of have like a silicone slippy feel to them. They look matte, but they're very, very comfortable. This is pretty much the same exact thing. And I absolutely love this. I love the color and I even like the applicator. I love these little plush applicators. So, so nice. This was extremely easy to apply, super user-friendly. I absolutely love this. And the shade that I got is a Velvet Nude or number 01. It doesn't really say that on the packaging, which is kind of weird, um, but it does say it on the cardboard box that it came in. This by far is probably my favorite item in the entire box. It's actually really amazing. I highly, highly recommend. The total for this month's box was $128, so that is amazing, um, over five times the value of what you pay for the box, which is always so incredible. I don't know how they do it. I don't think I ever will, but I'm not complaining. I loved this month's box. It was really, really nice. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing
that's it for this BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!